Hey guys, how's it going? Logan here, and today I'm bringing you another tutorial now. I know it's been a while, and we say daily videos, but we gotta remember, we're also really busy with school, and I got a whole bunch of other stuff going on right now, so I'm trying to get this video in here as quickly as I can, but I'm gonna make sure I go through it well so that you guys understand it. Now, today we are going to be learning how to make a uh, PC Gamer-like magazine cover. So if you are deciding that you want to start up your own magazine, uh, this will help you create you know cover design so let's go ahead and get started uh... this is an example of a batman arkham city one that i am working on now this one here is for school um, but this one's really basic and you can do way more so the one i'm going to be making is uh... going to be a deus ex human revolution pc gamer cover so first we're going to want to open up a new document shortcut control n <clears throat> Going to want to go ahead and do eight by five inches by for the width and eleven inches for the height, and I'm going to change the resolution to actually two hundred pixels per inch, and leave a transparent background. So now we have layer one, and I'm going to name this the background layer. And now we're going to want to get our image. Now let's I usually start with the top image uh, being the PC gamer one. So I went on Google and I found this. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to drag it onto this document here. And then I'm just going to drag it out like so. And let's do it about there. And that's looking great. Now, if I wanted, I could make that a bit bigger. I think I'm going to drop the height a little bit. And there we go. I'm going to name this uh, PC gamer top title all right and now the next thing i went on and i did is i got the image that i wanted to use so control o to go into your images folder and the image i'm going to want to do use is a render i got off of uh, a site called planet renders i will put the link in the description and i'm just going to go ahead and delete the watermark that was there control d to deselect and drag this right over here now this is pretty huge gonna actually I'm not really gonna scale it down cuz the thing with the PC gamer ones is a lot of the time it goes over top see with Batman's ears and whatnot which it actually makes it have this pretty awesome effect especially with this photo here so I'm gonna leave it like that I'm actually gonna move him over a bit I'm going to press enter and there we go. I'm going to make this. I'm going to put it just Deus X image. And there we go. This is coming along nicely already. <coughs> and now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. I'm going to actually, you don't even need to do that. Never mind. We're going to use our background layer. And I think I'm going to go with a dark to a darker. This is where it takes some uh, filling around, actually. And this is basically your own preference. I'm now going to get out my gradient tool. And I'm just going to kind of make a gradient. I don't really like that one. I'm going to change it up a bit. I know you can't really see it, so it may look all right. But I like that. I think that looks good. Um, actually, let's go ahead and do that alright so this is what I've got so far and now this looks pretty boring it's just a simple magazine cover that's not really has that doesn't really have much done to it um, actually I'm gonna try something I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna select screen for this oh that makes it way too light let's try overlay way too dark okay I'm just gonna go with normal for now I'll mess with that stuff later but it's really all personal preference and so next we're gonna get the barcode and to do that I'm going to open up a magazine cover that I've already uh, saved as a different one and you see this barcode down here in the corner just go ahead and zoom in on that this right here is what we're going to be getting go ahead and grab your rec grab your rectangular marquee selection tool click and drag and now I'm gonna get the disk edition because this the Photoshop uh, magazine cover that I'm making is going to come with a demo disk for 
Deus Ex Human Revolution. I'm going to unlock that. I'm going to do a layer via cut. So now if I get rid of that, it gets rid of that. So select your move tool. Have, make sure you have that layer selected. Drag it up and just drag it onto there. I'm going to rename this. Oops. Rename this the barcode. Just like that. And I'm going to zoom in just a bit. And scale it down. Set it in the corner just like so. And whoa, that may be a bit too big still. So let's go ahead and let's scale that down even more. Drag it right in the corner there. And away we go. That now this is our magazine so far. Now I must say it's looking pretty good, I think so myself. But what I did on the Batman one is I added this down here that lets you know stuff that's coming out. That's up to you. All I used was the uh, rectangular shape tool to do that. And I made a black bar and then a white bar. So now what I want to do is I want to just close up some of this to clear off my workspace just a little bit. There we go. And... I want to add some, we call them teasers is what they're called. Basically, they're little snippets of information that will let you know what you're going to be reading. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to select this red color right up there from the PC Gamer so it matches. Now i got my rectangular tool selected. I'm going to zoom in one. And right up here, I'm going to go and I'm just going to make a small one right there and I'm going to name this review now that layers name is review and I'm going to add a dr nice drop shadow on it oh let's go ahead and put an inner shadow and I think that's good yep that looks good to me I'm going to grab my text tool. I'm going to write in Arial. Make sure I have white selected. Just click here. And I'm going to type Review. I'm going to click my Move tool. I'm just going to drag it in place a bit here. Uh, we can scale that up a little bit. Let's see how that works. Center it out. And there we go. I'm going to actually make this go 22. Uh, that didn't really do much, so let's try 20. Um, because it didn't change it for some reason. All right, let's go 20. Uh, what about the 22? Let's check it out. There we go. I like the way that looks. So we got a review text inside our review box. Just going to grab my text tool again. And right under here, I'm going to type. Actually, I'm going to scale it down a bit. Check out our. Deus Ex Human Try and get this all to line up So Deus Ex Human Revolution Review And there we go That's pretty much all lined up Ooh, no that isn't Let's check that now. That's uh, better. This needs to be moved over about one pixel. And oops, let's undo that. It's the wrong one. Okay, that's good. It just looks like it because of the C. I'm just going to put that there. It looks pretty even on it. Now if we zoom out, you can see that we have our text. And it's just big enough. You can even go ahead and make that a bit bigger. But I think I'm going to zoom in on that for a second. T 
take these and I'm going to uh, not really do anything with them. I'm going to have to edit them one, out, one by one. I'm going to just apply a nice little drop shadow onto these. And there we go. That is what we have so far. Now it's a lot easier to read when I do it that way. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So you can add more of these here, these uh, review things. Uh, you can add a whole playable demo thing inside of that. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.